All right, so today we're gonna to talk about collage. Collage is actually when you cut or rip paper and then glue it to a surface. Um, so collage is probably a really good thing to do at home, especially if, if you don't have a lot of art supplies because things that you can use for collage are newspaper, um, magazines. I've got some stuff ripped out of magazines here. So old magazines. Uh, you can kind of use anything. Tissue paper, wrapping paper, like any kind of paper you can find around your house will work for collage. Um, there's so many different types of collage. You could cut out whole pictures, right? Like if I wanted to create some kind of scene here, I could cut this whole dog out and glue it on um, and with lots of different images. But the type of collage that I'm going to focus on today is a mosaic collage. And a mosaic collage is where you try to make the paper look like little tile pieces. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use Sharpie so you can see better. But I'm going to draw out my design. And this can get as complex as you want. I'm just going to go with a basic one to kind of show you today. So I'm going to draw out my design. I'm going to have some hills in the background here. I'm going to have a sun, sky. Um... I haven't thought this out. What should I do on the ground? Uh, let's say that this is actually water. So you don't have to draw water if you know it's water, but we're gonna pretend this is water. And then I'm gonna have some fish down in the water. So the, the basic thing is that you need to know where things are. So I, I could detail this out more. But the next step is to find the colors that you need. So I flipped through magazines and found blue stuff. And I want my sky blue to be a little bit different than my water blue. But I found this blue and I started cutting it into tiny pieces. Um, you could make yours like exact squares if you wanted. I don't, I kind of make mine a little bit more random. Um, and then should have made sure my glue was unplugged before I started the video, right? I'm going to, I guess it's blue on both sides, put a little dabs of glue on the back of here. And I'm just going to start filling in my sky. Now, you can use Elmer's glue. You can use a glue stick. Um, if you absolutely have no glue, you could use tape. It'd be a little bit tough. You might have to tape on the top. If you use a glue stick... Later on, you might want to like, I'm going to say this wrong probably, I don't know how to say it, Mod Podge or glue over the top. I have used glue sticks and had pieces fall off. So you just have to watch that. Or you could even laminate it when you're done if you ever have access to a laminator. When I glue these down though, one thing I like to do, because it's a mosaic collage, I like to leave grout lines between my pieces so that it actually looks like tile. You get a lot of glue on your fingers, so if you like peeling glue off your fingers later, this will be good. So I don't bump them up next to each other. I leave a little space so it looks like a grout line. Um, a couple tips <laughs> once you have glue on your fingers. Um, it actually helps to pick up, like if you have pieces laying all over, you can just tap it and it'll stick to your finger. If it will not come off your finger when you're trying to glue it down, some, cause your fingers are all sticky. Sometimes I just take like the erase, uh, pencil eraser and hold it down and press it down with my pencil if my fingers are too sticky. Now, obviously I'm not going to make you watch me fill this whole thing in, but I will add a picture of a finished one so you can kind of see what a mosaic collage looks like in case you want to try it out at home. 